So I thought I would tell you a little bit more about the reflexology training that I have just completed. So reflexology is something I always knew um, from when I was very starting out in the beauty industry that it was going to be something that I'd progress onto. But it used to take a good two years of training for lessons, case studies and everything to be able to become qualified. And it tended to be an area that perhaps someone specialised in. Um, and I was always so busy working, doing lots of different things and learning lots of different skills that it wasn't something that I just solely wanted to focus on. So now I'm quite established with all those sort of treatments, I was thinking, yeah, okay, the next stage on is to make sure I've got this reflex qualification. And obviously it's opened up now for us to do online training. So I've managed to do all my theory, which was extremely intensive. It was like going back to college um, and refreshing my memory on all of the body systems, the endocrine system, respiratory, nervous circulatory system, um, and the way the hormones are released and what part of the body releases these hormones hormones and regulates things and produces stuff so it was actually like I say very hard pounding but very refreshing at the same point that it's actually um, encouraged me to use more of that thinking in other treatments as well but it's then managed to give me a training and an assessment through a practical which luckily was very simple as well i've done thai foot massage for years which has incorporated um, reflexology movements and i've also done a foot zone treatment that i did years ago as well which was all based on the principles of reflexology but not yet qualified as a reflexologist so now i can add that title to my name um, and actually it's been really motivating because I'm, I'm just dying to get my hands on more feet. I've got a few case studies rolling at the moment as well just for my own interest and to get some reviews and some feedback for some uh, client reviews. Um, but basically the areas of the foot indicate certain areas of the body. So I've got a little foot map here which is a very good diagram of showcasing what parts of the body. It works from the head to the feet and it works on every single system, organ and everything in the body as well. So I can focus on the ailments. So you can understand that actually, if someone came in for, let's say, digestive problems, I wouldn't just be working the stomach, I'd be working the intestines, the colons, I'd be working inflammation areas, I'd be working um, even the diaphragm because obviously it's above and around the stomach area um, and it, the lymphatic drainage. So there's actually quite a lot to deal with in that whole area. They've also got reflexology points, which I haven't really touched much on until reflexology course, which are indicated on the top of the foot, the back of the foot and the sides of the feet. This is a very well known one, which I've worked on a lot before along the spine, which goes all the way along there. Um, so it's actually been quite interesting when I've had people's feet come in, they filled out a consultation and said this is why I'm coming for my treatment so we work on that but then when I'm working I'm finding something else maybe either that goes hand in hand or something completely different and then the client might say oh well actually yeah I suffered with that before or I get this so it's very interesting and it actually brings me back to a consultation video that I did before to say make sure that when you are going for consultations you really do talk about things to your therapist because we can get and give so much more because we know more about you and tailor make your treatment. An example being the model I took to my assessment with me. She was there saying that she had a lot of IBS and so we worked and was concentrating on that, that was her problem. But when we were working the head neck area um, and across the jaw, we were like, hang on, the jaw area is coming up quite tight. And she found um, a little bit of a pain response so she could feel me touching going, oh, that's a bit tender. Um, and then she said, oh, well, yeah, well, I do. I get really stressed and I sort of grind my teeth at night and my, my jaw is normally tight a lot as well. I can feel myself tensing. Um, and so things like that for a therapist is really useful to know. It might seem very minor for you on a, a big form, we, you know, thinking we need medication and stuff like that for contraindications and allergies. But even some of the minor details are important to let us know because we could work, say, in a facial or a scalp massage more around that jaw area to relax it. I was work then concentrating a little bit more across the jaw and everything for her. And the next day she said, oh, I've slept really well last night and actually my jaw feels really quite like good this morning so 
it's interesting to see what comes up in a treatment. That's what makes me quite excited to get my hands on feet and do reflexology more now. And actually linking that in with things like skin, obviously I'm very passionate about doing my skincare, but bringing the skincare and the reflexology and the whole body systems together, I sort of feel like I can do a bit more of a body wellness completion um, and link the two together that, okay, perhaps this is constantly what I'm seeing on the skin. Perhaps we need to rebalance you by doing some reflexology. And reflexology, that is exactly the, the way to describe it. It's rebalancing, restoring, and getting your body to naturally self-heal. Um, our bodies are completely amazing at functioning and doing things that sometimes, you know, are not an automated sort of response. We are constantly doing things in our body we don't even realise and we take for granted. And we don't look after it enough sometimes, the stress, the diet, the lifestyle, the pressure that we're under sometimes now as well. And our bodies haven't actually changed that much in all the years in how we actually function and heal and live and you know cells are dividing and we're the sort of metabolism is still going nothing have really has changed that much other than how we live our lives and so to be able to restore and naturally heal and actually complement other problems that people may have reflexology is not a alternative to medication it can completely complement and go alongside it we can work along those a lot of people say with ibs might be on medication for that um, or say even advanced crohn's disease they might be on medication for it but we could still help relax and ease the, their body into it and re-energize it and get the functions working and work alongside that treatment as well to try and help relieve some of the stress and the symptoms that they receive because of this illness um, so reflexology really should be and hopefully rolling through into me as prescribing a little bit more for it for clients trying to tap into it using points showcasing it telling people a little bit more about it and I'll be publishing my reviews and case studies and things that I have um, currently running as well for you but to, on my menu I've had Thai foot massage for some time and I need to make a disting, distinguish sort of between the two and reflexology is so much more in depth so much more involved um, so I am literally going to keep my Thai foot massage more as the whole body it incorporates the stretching the manipulation of the legs the joints the muscles and a few reflex points so I'm going to have that down as a 30 minute treatment now and then the reflexology I'm going to bring in for my 45 minute treatment and they'll be 30 and 45 pound um, so I can distinguish between the two. I don't want the two treatments blurring. I want them to be completely individual treatments for what they are. So the Thai foot massage is really more about relaxation, manipulation of muscles of the foot and adding in a few of the key reflexology points. Whereas reflexology itself will be completely focusing and targeting on specific concerns and needs and actually really, really working them in order to sort of help the functioning and the self-healing going on there. Hopefully that won't aid too much confusion. Um, and if you're interested in having a session, then let me know. Or if you want more information about certain conditions that it can assist and work alongside, then please be in touch and let's talk a little bit more about reflexology because I have plenty of passion for it, plenty of information. And even if it's just for advice, get in touch. I'd love to hear from you.